Now it's time to look at our find and replace feature and check some spelling. So we happen to have a file. If you go to File and Open, and in your Chapter 3 folder, Find, Replace, and Spelling.png, we're going to open that. You may or may not have Helvetica on your machine. And if you don't, and you get a dialog box that comes up asking you to either replace the font or maintain the appearance, it doesn't really matter. You can just go ahead and change it to another font if you'd like. And if this comes across in any other chapters, go ahead and just change the font to anything that you would like. So here we already have some text, and chances are something's probably misspelled in it. So let's take a look. So if I go underneath my text menu, I have a spelling setup and a check spelling. So first off, let's take a look at the spelling setup. So I need to make sure that I've got the right dictionaries selected that I might need for my document. Do I want to edit any of my personal dictionary? Here I would add, delete, or edit any words in a personal dictionary. So if I needed to add some acronyms, etc., in that particular area, I could add them there. I can find duplicate words, ignore words with numbers, ignore words in uppercase, and if that's the way I'd like it set, then I can click OK. Now I can actually run the check spelling. And I can either add something to my personal, and since I have Lightroom in there, I'm going to go ahead and add that to my personal, and I will add Photoshop. This isn't seeing the apostrophe in there. I'm afraid that if I change this now, it'll add an apostrophe and a T to what I already have. I'm looking in my document. I see it highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that the way that is. So I will ignore that one. It's seen those as separate, so I'm going to ignore that, and I can see in my document there. Then I'm going to find the suggestion that best matches any spelling errors that I have, and I can change. And the same thing here. And I will continue to ignore those. And I'm going to add that one to my personal. And now my spelling check is completed. So now that my spelling check is completed, I'm looking at my document, and I might want to do some find and replace of some of my items. But I'm not limited to just text. So if I go underneath my Edit menu and choose Find and Replace, let's take a look at what we can change. So I can search my current page search a particular selection, a state document, or search files. So I'm just going to say current page. I can find a color, find some text, font, a URL, or a non-web safe color. So in this case, we're going to find a color. And I'm going to find, put my cursor over that particular color. And I believe that's probably a web safe color, so I'm going to choose this one here. And let's change it to some other color. I'll change it to blue. So do I want this applied to fills and strokes, to all properties, or just fills? And I will find. And now I can just click on Replace. So now I've replaced my red with my blue. So there's lots of different things that we can do here in our Find and Replace. So working with text, formatting text, adding placeholders, and importing text are all very easy to do inside of Fireworks.